Yeah, good morning guys, welcome to Flooring Models Daily Show. Here we are on Wednesday the 28th of September 2016. And I must say thank you to everybody who's given me feedback. I know I asked for it and boy did I get it. Um, I got even, I've lost even count how much feedback we've had. Um, you know, the thumbs up to the thumbs down, even on the YouTube one, I think we're currently something around, around about 400 odd to three. Uh, so that gives a bit of an idea when I asked about that one. One obviously on the main site, the one on the forum, and obviously you guys personally emailing me either via the forum or messaging me via the contact me on the site as well has been absolutely amazing. Um, I, and I must admit, it's one of those things, I don't know if you remember when I said I was going to do vlogging, and a lot of you, in fact most of you, were like, whoa, hold on a minute, don't like change, we don't like anything else like that. Uh, and I really, I must admit, had to push through. I was ready to drop it because I had so much negative feedback about doing the vlogging and this type of talking and everything else like that and showing you throughout my day and following me around and everything else that I really thought I was missing something here. Um, but you guys have absolutely loved it. You've embraced it. And it, it is that big thing is that, you know, a lot of you have done me lists, what you like, what you don't like, what's okay uh, and stuff like that, which is really helpful. And all of it always starts with love the vlogs, but it's amazing. If you go back a couple of months when I said, I'm going to start vlogging, we're going to start talking and being very, you know, instead of sort of the polished thing, uh, try and make it more friendly, uh, more open, certainly, and everything else like that. Uh, and the feedback I got was don't keep it as it is. We love the builds and, and that's it and everything else. But you guys seem to have embraced it. You seem to like it. And luckily, you're obviously on the same sort of, you know, brainwave as I am uh, for the future of this uh, and for the future of the hobby as well. Uh, and what I intend to do next year. Um, and you know, obviously trying to get Flory Models to a position where it's covering all its bases and then we can just go through and update and when new things come out and that's the plan for that. Uh, but generally, as I said, this is just a massive shout out to everybody who sat down, taken the time, uh, and some of them have been quite extensive of everything else like that, about what you love and what you don't love. And obviously the biggest things that I'm getting from this, one, you love the vlogs, Secondly, you loved this build, the speed build, if you like, the one day build. Um, you know, you've seemed to love that raw, unedited, warts and all type of build. Um, more than I thought. To be honest, I thought it'd just be a handful of us following this through, and probably nobody would really watch the recordings and everything else like that. Um, but when I look at the stats of like who's watching it, where and when, and everything else like that, everybody seems to have watched it. Whereas, as you said, you get some other builds, like the big builds, um, you haven't. Um, a lot of the feedback about the super build. So obviously when we were doing things, uh, and I tend to do one big super build a year. So you think, obviously we just finished the FW190, and yeah, it's like a 15, 16 parter. Uh, if you're doing it in hours, I think it's something like 22 hours. Uh, if you used to sit down and watch it start to finish. It's a huge build, uh, and I know that. Uh, and that's why it's called the super build. But it's a way of me showing you highly detailed everything about putting a model together okay and that was the point from doing it and as i said that's why I like engine section just about building the engine section it was like an hour and 15 or whatever it was minutes just about building the engine uh, and then obviously we did that hour one about the cockpit that's all it was to show you so it was a breakdown of the entire build right the way through and then obviously you know things you found really good was obviously things like riveting so again i'm looking at the feedback uh looking how it's been watched how many minutes have been watched and all the rest of it uh, and it is totally incredible, you know. Um, and, you know, it is that thing where um, it, I, I tend to use YouTube as well to sort of govern how well we're doing. To put this in perspective, and this is quite an interesting thing, in the last 28 d uh, days, we've actually been viewed over 2 million minutes of the video have been watched. Well, when you put that into perspective, that was the equivalent of all of last year. And so, you know, to, that actually sums this up. So we've actually, people have sat down and watched two million minutes worth of video from Flory Models in the last 28 days alone. Yet, when you go back through it, uh, two million minutes was basically last year. You know, the entire sort of 2015 was minutes viewed by members, okay? This isn't just for the free stuff, that's slightly separate and everything else like that. Okay, but that just gives you an idea of how sort of things have progressed, uh, we've grown uh, and everything else like that. So from that point of view, again, I have to thank you uh, and all the rest of it. But what I've done is I've basically sat down this morning, I've been doing loads of editing, to be honest, I've done two more edits which have completed this. I've got to do the photograph work for it. But I sat down and I've said a couple of columns in there, what you love, what you hate, what you don't like and all the rest of it. 
And if I'm reading this correctly, the biggest things you love is the vlogs. You've loved this new sort of raw unedited speed build, which is something definitely I'm gonna sort of, you know, perhaps invest some more stuff into and everything else like that. Try and get the live even better, okay? You tend to love the reviews as well. Now the reviews as well, something I wanted to speak about because with those I'm thinking, yeah, okay, we know it's a little bit samey samey because I'm just opening a box and all the rest of it. But what I intend to do is a bit like we did with the flanker. If the kit lends itself to being able to be um, built pretty quickly, um, I might just build it. And I know some of you said, but it's a waste of money and all the rest of it. Not really, because at the end of the day, you're paying me for do this. Uh, and all the guys who are out there who just watch this on YouTube, perhaps you're watching this, it is thanks to the members because you're paying for everything you see here. Um, you know, you pay my wages, you know, you are it. So actually you're sort of um, custodians really for the freeloaders which I know a lot of you call yourself freeloaders as well, so I'm not being derogatory against you. Uh, but the guys who just watch us on YouTube, who don't pay to be on the site and all the rest of it, it, it's really, you have to thank the members because the members are paying for you to do it. Because yes, originally, a couple of years ago, we locked it down, so if you had to be a member to see it. But as I explained in a video, and I spoke to all the membership about, I'd like to open it a little bit more up where we can. Uh, so non-members can see it as well. Okay, so that way it keeps the hobby alive. Okay, and trying to get new members into it, try and get returnees into it. So really the hobby grows because I say, I'm still frightened to death that the hobby's gonna die on its ass in 10 years. But anyway, that's another, that's another video completely. All right, but generally um, I'm just taking the best bits. So as we were saying, vlogs, definitely gonna stay. Okay, quick builds as in raw unedited, uh, one day type builds. Um, we're gonna do a lot more of those because you guys seem to have loved it. It's been a theme running right the way through. Super builds, okay. I will probably make them a little bit shorter, shall we say, okay. I won't spend six months on a super build and all the rest of it. Even though I was doing other stuff as well, um, then obviously I will um, definitely rethink how we're gonna do that just a little bit, okay. So perhaps I won't tackle massive builds, but this is something, don't panic you guys who think oh, he's not gonna do all the detailed stuff. We've still spoken out, I'm still gonna do cockpits a sole videos on cockpit. So we're gonna pick a modern, we're gonna pick a second world war, we'll pick something else. Okay, same with engines. So we've got videos on all genres. So we've got, at the moment, we've got that beautiful one uh, for actually showing that, um, I think it's the Daimler Benz engine that's in the Fokker Wolf 190. Uh, obviously that is a huge video on its own, standing, you know, and all the rest of it. I intend to do another one, perhaps on a Merlin, uh, and then do a couple of more modern ones. So perhaps we'll pick a Russian big engine in 30 seconds to do, uh, and an American engine, um, something like a Pratt & Whitney F100-220, uh, something else like that, where we can super detail and show it. So if you're ever in the thing about building that type of thing, we can do it. The same with, I wanna do the standalone ones for perhaps electronic bays, uh, wheel wells, and various things. Again, in all the different areas. So something perhaps World War II-ish, Think perhaps obviously more modern uh, in those areas. So if you wanted to, you could click in. So you the, the super builds won't be as important. But what I will do then with the super build, uh, we've done other ones like the F4 Phantom. Somebody mentioned that one, so it's his favorite build, where we put all the piping in the spine. We cut open the spine and scratch built the piping work down in there. Agreed. Uh, I love doing things like that. So they'll still stay and they'll be part of super builds, but perhaps we won't have to focus so much on engines because we've covered them before. So we can bypass that a little bit. I'll do them, but won't take you know, a two hour video just on an engine. I will then just direct you to, there's a full build on it and I'll whip through showing it. So it shortens everything down. So perhaps we have no more sort of 15, 20 parters, uh, just 10 part videos and things like that. Again, this boils down to a lot of you have said that it gets a little bit samey when we're working on the kit for too long. So I intend to sort of bring the builds more into a more concise form. So I'll build them quicker um, and I'll edit them in a way that they flow better perhaps. So then that way, uh, perhaps we'll start with the um, uh, Mitsubishi F1 I'm just about to do, where we'll try and keep it more into a four or five parter. Okay, so you're not being drawn out for hours um, talking about puttying and stuff like that. So we can talk about more where the problems are perhaps with the model uh, and less about the good bits because everyone knows it's going to go together. Uh, but we can talk about perhaps more about seam line and filling and the more worrisome and troublesome areas uh, on a model kit than rather just glossing over the good bits, okay? So that way it should make it more concise and we can get in more to the nice bits if you like and things like that. So we intend to do that. So that's the biggest feedback and the biggest change. 
The live stuff, as I said, I am more than happy to invest in new camera work. We've spoken about editing suites, studio suites, and to be honest, last night I did spend an evening looking about live broadcasting um, studio suites so we can mix the, the footage up and everything else, and I can do it on the fly with the cameras right in front of me and stuff like that. You know, yeah, it's gonna be a couple of grand, but if you guys wanna do it and you're loving that way of doing it, then I'm more than happy to do it because Okay, it's money invested, but it'll save me time because I won't have to edit it because we'll be editing on the fly as we do it, okay? And, and definitely do something like that. I'm very interested in it. I love that side of it and everything else. Genres, things like that, everyone seems to be very happy with. So we're obviously we'll still keep with the aircraft, with the armor, with the sci-fi, with the civilian stuff, vehicles uh, and everything else like that, okay? So nothing like that's gonna change. But as I said, this is basically just a shout out this morning to thank you all for your very kind feedback. As I say, I am always open to it. If you've got any ideas, if you've got any criticisms and all the rest of it about the site, I am not one of these that's just gonna turn around and just delete you or blank you and all the rest of it. You usually get an answer out of me if I can. Literally, I've spent a lot of time this last couple of days trying to answer as many as you ever can and I've tried to answer almost everybody I know some of you haven't uh, but sort of you know everybody who sort of sent me sort of good long ones and a good you know the feedback positive and bad I've tried to get back to you as best as I could even if it's just a short message to let you know I have read it taken on board your facts and everything else like that but really this is just me answering everybody I haven't spoken to over the last couple of days uh, but generally I am overwhelmed by the support uh, and I'm not going to go through that Thing, but we are a family here at Flory Models. You're all my friends. You, uh, you know, the community itself is definitely the best on the internet. Um, and as I say, the warmth that you guys generate about the hobby uh, and to each other about helping. Um, and it's right the way through to sending some decals, to sending somebody a canopy because they've cracked theirs, to everything else. It is that openness. Uh, and it is a great thing about this hobby that can be, as we said before, quite a lonely hobby when you're doing it on your own and all the rest of it. The whole point of what I do here is just to be that sort of, you know, the totem pole that sort of brings everyone together and a focal point to share knowledge help and everything else like that that is the part of it and that is what works so very very well with our site is because uh, we are very open we're very honest and everything else like that but we are a modeling site so that's all we talk about that's all we do here no politics no religion no historical things and all the rest of it it's purely just about modeling uh, and that's what it always should be okay and we intend to Next year, we're going to have some great stuff coming up. So spoke about it a little bit on the live show yesterday uh, with Steve. We've discussed and we've gone through all the SIGs and the group builds for next year. We've got some amazing stuff coming up for you and everything else like that. I've got some big changes coming to me uh, and what I do here at Flory Models and everything else next year. I've hinted about it over the last couple of shows and that. Very excited about that. That's why I'm trying to get the site as it is at the moment into a situation where it can hold its own because there's going to be various things where I'm going to do uh, which are going to be completely different to what we've done before. As I said, very excited about it. It's got some big changes coming for next year. But as I say, from your point of view and the members, nothing will change. Don't panic about that. But there might be some changes to people who perhaps aren't members and stuff. So anyway, it's definitely a side of it I'm looking forward to getting involved with uh, and getting to do uh, and definitely everything else like that. And hopefully it's going to make us stronger, better, friendlier and everything else. Now, over the next few weeks as well, I'm gonna slow down slightly on the building and the few various bits and pieces I do because I wanna take care of a few things on the main site. There's definitely a lot of work to be had there. I need to streamline things. I'm aware of that as well. A lot of you have said about it's very difficult to find stuff. I intend to sit down on the computer and just get on it, as I say, uh, and try and get links put back in that are correct so it's easier to find information. The site's more concise, it's more streamlined uh, and everything else like that, as well as perhaps the forum we might have a look around at that and try and get everything sorted so we're in a situation where you can find your information quickly and easily and don't get bogged down right the way through to I know people say about the live streaming uh, I intend to get a system set up so live streaming will all be in one place you'll put all your questions in one place you'll get your answers all in one place and you'll get alerts and everything when we are live streaming and everything else like that so there we go. Thank you very, very much, guys. As I said, you are my world at the end of the day. Um, I do everything I can to try and keep us on that sort of straight and even keel of uh, this ship that we call Flory Models. But as I said, without you guys, we wouldn't be here. So I do have to thank you so, so much for everything you do because as I said, you've made Flory Models what it is. Okay, so without you, we are nothing. It is as simple as that. There we go, guys. 
long round this morning, sorry about that. Uh, as I said, I'm editing a lot today, so I don't know if I'll be back on later. To be honest, I've got to pop out accountants. Uh, but um, anyway, uh, well, I'll be back with you tonight for the new show uh, and we can go through what's been happening. So there we go guys, happy modelling, take care, I'll catch you all later. Okay, so another sort of busy day. To be honest, this afternoon I've been editing and I mean tons of it. You forget how much actually went into the weathering stage uh, down here on the Chieftain. So what that actually means is, because there's so much of it to come up, I'm gonna put them up in twins. So actually you've got parts where we two, so it's gonna be five and six will be up with you tonight actually on the actual uh, Chieftain. The thing is, uh, one of the parts is 20 minutes, the other one's 35, so you know, it sort of cancels itself out, that one. And then on Monday, we'll put up another couple of parts and then the last part of that will probably go up on Wednesday. What this will enable me to do is to finish everything off totally, because as I said, I wanna get some work done on the site this week. I wanna sort out some of the reviews for you and I want to put in place some of the changes that are going to be happening. As I said, don't panic, it's not big changes, just things about the live streaming and stuff like that. Um, looking at studio software, perhaps bringing down into here and into hardware. Need to do a little bit of research on that. So I'm going to spend that week really doing it and getting on with it. And then what I'm going to do is, it's probably Monday, I'll be starting fresh on everything. So it gives me a nice clean start, start of the month, everything, uh, and it enables me to tie up all the loose ends. Also, I've done the photographic work in the video works you'll see in a minute for the flanker thank you so much for all the kind comments and feedback on it and as i said the thing that has come through you know shining brighter than all the other comments if you like is that you love this sort of one day build sort of speed build getting on with it and everything else like that and to be honest this afternoon as i've been editing and things have been rendering i've been making notes and sort of everything we spoke about a minute ago um, so what I intend to do is sort of implement a lot of those little changes. I wouldn't say, when you say changes, everyone's going to think, oh, let's change it. No, we're not going to change anything. We are what we do. Uh, it's just I want to streamline everything. I want to make everything simpler, easier to find, and everything else like that. And that's what I'm going to spend uh, the rest of this week sorting out on the main site. And then obviously, um, you know, over the weekend, just making all these changes so they all stick. Uh, so we're nicely set up for the future and everything else like that. But as I said, you can see parts five and six. As I said, I thought there was another three parts to go no there's not there's five so what I'm going to do is push them through quite heavily uh, so what you're going to get is two parts today and then obviously there'll be two parts on Monday the last part will be on Wednesday for you and by that point everything else will be catching up because we would have started on obviously a little bit of Gundam stuff and we're going to be starting obviously on that uh, Mirage not Mirage, is it? It's Mitsubishi F1 uh, in that nice wraparound camo with a special scheme uh, and everything else like that. So really looking forward to that. So that's about it from me. Thank you very much for everything. I know we went on about it for far too long in the first part of the show, but definitely um, it is through to you guys. You do make the difference and you do make flooring models what it is. So until tomorrow, everybody, happy modeling, take care, and thank you very much.